Do you want to make your phone look like this beautiful Android 12 inspired theme? Or how about this trippy neomorphic setup? Windows 11 for anyone? Well today I'm going to show you five of the craziest Android themes for 2021 and trust me, these setups will truly take your home screen to the next level, making anyone's jaw drop when they see what you're working with. Now here's the thing, if you end up recreating any of these setups or at least downloading an Icon Pack or KWGT widget, all I ask is that you please drop a quick thumbs up on this video, it really helps out the channel and I already know my boys have my back on this one. Also, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up enjoying any of these themes, consider subscribing. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. Now the first setup is an inspiration to the new Windows 11 update that so many people are getting hyped about. This theme is almost identical to the real deal. It has the same wallpapers, style options, taskbar, icons and widgets, plus it's fully functional and works like a charm which really surprised me because Windows 11 just got announced only a week ago. So as expected within the taskbar start menu, you can launch any of those pinned apps. You may need to remap some of them within the KLWP settings though to get them to work. When tapping on the up arrow within the taskbar, you get your widget panel which looks very similar to the one found within Windows 11. Obviously it's not as powerful, but you still get a properly working weather widget that shows you the weather forecast in your area. And right below that, you have your calendar widget, which even lets you skim through your upcoming or past events. My favorite feature though about the setup is that you can easily change the style just like you can on Windows 11. So you can choose to have a darker background for the menus and taskbar, and switch between an opaque or transparent look, depending on whether or not you like your background to bleed through when you're in a menu. You can also easily switch between the new Windows 11 wallpapers, which actually look nice. And finally, just for the hell of it, this theme also includes KWGT widgets that are also Windows inspired. I personally just use the music player to fill in that extra space at the top. And that's pretty much it for this Windows 11 setup. If you'd like to get this on your phone, the process is straightforward. You just need to have Nova Launcher installed and set as your default launcher. You also need to download the KLWP Live Wallpaper Maker app and the KLWP Pro Key. Finally, for the theme itself, you need to download Windows 11 for KLWP app. All those links will be right below that like button. From there, you need to launch Nova Launcher and remove everything from the home screen, including the dock. Then you need to change the wallpaper to a live wallpaper called custom, tap on the gear icon, then the hamburger menu, load preset, make sure you're on the explore tab and under installed packs, you should be able to find windows for KLWP. Tap on the theme, grant any of the necessary permissions, and within the shortcuts section, make sure you remap all of the system apps, including the phone, contacts, messages, camera, gallery, etc. Then within the global section, you can change your profile picture and username that shows up on the start menu. Finally, tap on the save icon in the top right corner and it'll have you set it as the live wallpaper. That's pretty much it. You should now have a Windows 11 theme on your phone. Another software update that everyone is extremely excited about is Android 12. I mean, just check out this sneak peek from Google. You get new widgets, animations, dynamic theming, and a ton more design changes. You guys, I mean, fuck it, he fuck, fuck, George, look at this thing. <laughs> it's beautiful. I wanted something similar on my home screen and I couldn't wait till August for the final beta update. So I decided to create my own Android 12 inspired setup. It's got most of the same widgets, including the giant weather pill, the flower analog clock, the extremely well-designed calendar widget, funky music controls, and a few other widgets that add to the aesthetics, including a Material U inspired status bar, search bar, and a step counter, which only works if you have the Google Fit app installed on your phone. I also love that each widget launches the appropriate action, and I tried using a wallpaper that made everything fit together. The clock and music widget are snuggled in that light blue blob, the status bar is clearly separated by different colored backgrounds, and the weather pill is tucked into the edge of that pink background. I'll leave a link so that you can download this wallpaper. As for the widgets, I got all of them from KWGT packs, so if you're trying to replicate this home screen, you need to download KWGT Custom Widget Maker and the KWGT Pro Key. I'll also leave a download link to my Nova Launcher backup file so that you can easily place the widgets in the same spots. Now the status bar, search bar, calendar, and step counter all come from the same app called Uzuri KWGT. The only thing I modified was the base colors to have them better match the blue theme that I was going for. The hex code is on the screen for those who like to use it. The giant weather pill comes from a different app called Android 12 for KWGT Pro. I just left the yellow colors as is, but I did flip it to align it with the edge of the pink blob. 
For the clock, I used a standalone app called Android 12 Clock Widgets. It doesn't require you to use the KWGT app, and I like to use either the blue or pink clock because it snuggles well inside the blue blob. Finally, for the music controls, they come from a KWGT app called KGGM Material, and all I did was change the colors to have it match the weather pill's yellow theme. I also changed the bottom fast forward icon to a rewind one because I believe the developer made a mistake by including two fast forward icons instead of, instead of just one. That's my entire Android 12 inspired theme. If you like an alternative Android 12 setup, I have another option. But before I show it off completely and explain the setup process, I wanted to show you some spectacular cases from Rhino Shield to not only keep your phone damage free, but to also personalize it with a fun and awesome design. Now Rhino Shield did sponsor this video, but they're such a well-known and respected phone case brand that you most likely have already seen their logo somewhere. And let me tell you, their cases are super tough and premium. I'm using the Solid Suit, a slim protective case that covers the entire phone with a raised lip, provides an extremely tight fit, and has a solid material that absorbs impacts above 11 feet. Plus, they even have screen protectors to give you the ultimate protection, so you definitely won't need to worry about any bumps, scratches, or screen cracks whenever you accidentally drop your phone. On top of the solid protection, these cases are very eye-catching. Personally, I love the CyberWave's design, which was in collaboration with PewDiePie himself, yes, that PewDiePie, this Euphoria design, and the Zen Dog for the Pixel 5. But they have plenty of other styles to choose from, including NBA cases so that you can represent your favorite sports team, NASA cases, fun unique designs, and you can even design your own case by using your own photos, custom text, etc. So Rhino Shield brings the protection while also keeping it stylish. For just the next week, you can use my link in the description to get a 20% discount. After that, it will drop to 10%, so make sure you act fast or you may miss out on this amazing deal. Anyways, for the alternative Android 12 theme, I just want to be clear that I didn't come up with this idea for the setup. I actually found it on Twitter by a user called Klongdike, uh, but I did modify it a bit. The background is inspired by Material U and it's been created by a designer called Zan. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can download it. It has pastel colors, so I tried to use icons and widgets that matched it. On top of that, you can clearly see that the background is separated into four different colored sections. So I try to include a widget or several icons in each one. You have a clock slash weather slash battery widget on the main page that aligns perfectly in the center of all those blobs. It comes from a widget pack called Uzuri KWGT. And every time you tap it, the widget switches between the weather and battery. For the icons, I use Cassell icons because they're small enough to include in each colored section. They also have a simple design and eye-pleasing pastel colors, just like the background. When you scroll to the next page, the format is the same with a circular widget in the center, icons within the separated blobs, and an additional pill widget at the top. The music player comes from a pack called Android 12 for KWGT Pro, and the weather pill has a hidden secret where if you keep tapping it, it'll switch between the time, date, or battery. This widget comes from Uzuri KWGT. And that's the entire setup. Clean, simple, but extremely beautiful. This next setup comes straight from my Reddit page at How To Men. Just a quick side note, if you want a chance at being featured in the next theming video, head on over and submit your home screen setup today. Anyways, I really enjoyed this theme called Neumorphix Shadow. The widgets have this cool neumorphism effect where the widgets seem like they're popping out at you or are suctioned into the background. It's pretty trippy and to this day, whenever someone uses my phone, they always ask how I did this. And it's actually very simple. The home screen consists of a single widget from an icon pack called Shadow KWGT. It shows you the battery life with a thick blue bar, the date, your contact info, and it does specific actions such as letting you toggle the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, launching Google Assistant, or drop down the notification panel. You can even change the profile, picture, name, and email within the widget's global settings. On the second screen, I included two widgets, a music player at the top, I like the shadow effect on the album cover since it makes it look like it's peeking through a window. And then right below that, I used a calendar widget. Both also come from Shadow KWGT. The only thing I modified is that for the calendar widget, it originally came with a Google search bar, two extra buttons at the bottom, and a bottom bar. I ended up just removing all of those within the KWGT settings because they just didn't fit in. Finally, for the background, you need to use this one. Otherwise, it won't work with any other wallpaper unless it has enough blank space with the same color scheme. I'll leave all the links to download the wallpaper, widgets, and even my Nova backup file right below the like button. I've saved the best thing for last. It's been created by another fellow tech YouTuber called TV, and he calls it Ubuntu Shamrock. 
Any Linux fans out there might be highly impressed by this because as the title implies, it replicates the Linux Ubuntu OS. You have your icons on the side and they look very similar. You get the same red, orange, and purple color scheme, and you can also bring up a fake terminal that gives you information about your phone. It's not entirely accurate, but it's still pretty cool and gets some of the info correctly. On top of that, you get a music window, and when you tap on the settings icon, you can bring up a window that lets you customize the setup to just changing everything to a light or dark theme, hiding the clock and date at the top, or adding some space to make room for a notch or nav bar. My favorite part though is that when you tap on the time in the top center, you get a drop down with all of your current notifications and your next upcoming calendar event. Tapping on the icons right next to the clock, you can see some more information including your volume and brightness. However, you can't change them from this menu which is a bit deceiving, but then again, for a KLWP theme, this is still very impressive. I also love that there's an option that allows you to jump straight into the KLWP settings, makes it really easy to modify the theme. And finally, when you tap on activities, you get thrown into the recents menu. It's just a KLWP preset that is free to download. I'll leave a link in the description to get it. Once you download it, just hop into the KLWP app, tap on import and select the Ubuntu Shamrock file, then switch over to the library tab and you should see it there. Tap it and you can make any changes you like within the global section. Everything is described in detail, so it shouldn't be hard to figure it out. After you're done, set it as your wallpaper by pressing the save icon. Overall, it's a spectacular free theme that looked like it took a long time to create, so props to Grabster TV for creating this masterpiece. Anyways, that concludes the craziest Android themes that I've come across in 2021. If you guys like my selection, a quick thumbs up would really mean the world since it'll help this video get noticed by the YouTube algorithm. On top of that, if you'd like to find more awesome themes, go ahead and follow my subreddit at HowToMen. There are already over 6,000 members there and plenty of home screens get posted there every day. Just make sure to follow the rules and please be sure to post any useful apps that you'd like for me to review for the best Android app series. And I'll shout out your name if I choose your app or game request. Also, if you really love what you saw, why not get subscribed with the notification bell turned on? I promise I'll only release videos that you like to watch. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!